here we are on the main deck of the Y85, and as you can see, in the wheelhouse. Um, really quite uh, an advancement on our previous boats. Uh, again, fully integrated uh, glass bridge, uh, incorporating Garmin or Raymarine, whichever the preference, but also you're moving into your ship management system, which is the Bonin, which is uh, this screen here and this screen here. And what that does is it uh, enables you to control all the ship's systems, and that's from uh, fresh water, AC, DC power, as well as being able to control all the lights around the boat. A uh, really nice bit of kit. Um, air conditioning, so you can get a nice bit of cold uh, air into you. Obviously you've got thrusters here, which are variable speed and hydraulic. Uh, and then you've got your throttles right in here. Seats are on, nice armrest, so you can spend a decent amount of time here, passage planning or underway. Uh, these are electric, so they move forward and back, as well as up and down. And then outboard, I have a pop-out door uh, to give you access to the, to the fore deck for the crew, um, or if you're like to bring the boat in on the throttles from this station, you can see all the way aft. Big window, so good visibility here. Double wipers on each side um, to clear the, when you're taking on any water. Uh, chart, drawer underneath, as well as a, a small unit to be able to put here. Extra power sockets there for chart plotters or iPhones, or whatever you need. And then move into quite a, quite a nice area for the guests to enjoy, or is often used as, as an area for the captain to do his notes and his chart work. Um, Drop window in the corner to allow a bit of fresh air in if need be. Um, but really good integrated bridge here. Uh, we have a sliding door. So once the door is pushed across, it gives the crew the um, ability to pilot at night if the guests are uh, enjoying themselves. And then move out into the guest area. Uh, good sized day head, lots of natural light coming in there. So it doesn't feel like a small space at all, but saves the guests having to go down to the guest accommodation. Staircase down to the Lower accommodation said, that nice glass bulkhead there gives you lots of plenty of, uh, of light. Uh, so when people go down, you're not going down into a dark hole. Let's check out the galley. So it's, it's really almost a discredit to call this a galley. It is a kitchen. You know, you've got lots of space, plenty of uh, lockers for, for actual ice maker, as you can see here. We've got a dishwasher, uh, obviously oven and, and cooktop here. Great light to, to see what you're doing and to make sure you're not feeling too claustrophobic. Uh, on this boat, we've gone for the optional wine uh, cooler, uh, but you've got this nice section here so you can put coffee machines you know, ready for the, for the stewardesses or the stewards to serve overhead height uh, microwave oven. And then as all Y boats, we have the sub-zero refrigerator, so plenty of space there, uh, as well as the integrated freezer drawers underneath. Now you've got a separate crew access here, so that pop-out door, so you've got two on the boat, obviously one in the helm and one here to uh, allow the crew to move freely of, instead of uh, having to interrupt the guests. Um, but really well thought out, good galley space. As we come back down, you've got a, actually a separate uh, partition here. So the per person moves up and down, so the whole galley can be concealed from, uh, from guest view, so the crew can get on and cook should they need to, or when it's dropped down, you can actually turn that into a bar. Come into the saloon, nice spacious area behind us. Two bar stools can be ordered there should you want to, which really reiterates what a useful, versatile area we have here. AV underneath the saloon there. Uh, and then into your expansive seating. Um, obviously here we have uh, the dining room table. Now you can uh, put more chairs here because this table expands out uh, so you can get uh, up to 10 people uh, eating. Uh, if I just nip in behind you here, we have a quite a nice little bar unit. So underneath, nice drinks fridge and then storage for your glasses underneath here. And then into the saloon, big windows as always. Uh, large sliding uh, uh, back door, so you really have that inside outside feeling. Um, big 55 inch TV, obviously, hidden away out of you when you don't need it, but pops up when you want to have that, that movie night with all the AV nicely concealed out of sight. So, back on, onto the aft deck of the Y85, and as you can see, this is a colossal space. You know, from the threshold of the, of the saloon all the way to the back of the boat, you can see plenty of space to entertain your clients here. You've got a couple of occasional chairs could go here, no problem at all to utilize a coffee table as it is at the moment. Or if you fold it out, you've got plenty of room for your, your guests to have a full meal out here in the sunshine. Now, here we have a, a staircase up to the flybridge, nice and wide steps, good purchase on solid stainless steel uh, railing there, as well as a, a locker underneath those stairs for uh, storing anything like shoes or what may be needed. Nice servery refrigeration so you can serve your guests with uh, colder beverages and move it over some storage under here. Just a, a nice little unit to help aid uh, 
looking after clients out here or guests. Moving on to the side, on the port side we have uh, our third wing station. Throttles, uh, thrusters, as well as our anchors and our engine controls. Really nice. So center line of, of the flybridge is, is where the main helm position is. Bridge is on the, the starboard side, port side here, so all areas covered. Moving back, controls for your uh, passerelle and your bathing platform, and obviously your bits. So you've got your, your windlass uh, cleats. And then storage for your life raft is kept under there on both sides. And then we'll go down onto one of the best places, the bathing platform. And obviously this is hydraulic. Now the benefits of a, of a hydraulic bathing platform aren't just the fact you can launch your 550 kilogram tender, which is what this one's capable of, but it's also many reasons why you have a boat. You know, this is where you can swim from, where your kids can dive from. Um, you can lower it down, put a parasol on here, put the deck chairs in and enjoy the view. We're very lucky today, obviously Plymouth isn't always like this. So, you know, some days like this where having the boat and having a large bathing platform come into their own more practical sense is we've got entrance to the crew cabin as well. So they can actually also go into the um, engine room from here, um, but this will be their day-to-day -day entrance. And then on the other side, we have a good storage locker. So fenders, ropes, warps, wetsuits, um, life jackets. A rain shower integrates into the deck here. Uh, so you can have a proper shower when, you've, when you get out from swimming, as well as a, a smaller, more occasional shower that kept in, in the locker there. Good wide staircases, obviously on both sides. It doesn't feel like you're going up a set of steps. You are going up a staircase onto the aft deck. Uh, and obviously, nice wide side decks up to the, up to the fore deck. Let's go and have a look up there. So now we move up onto the fore deck of the Y85. And as you can see, another great space. Plenty of uh, big, deep seats in here. You know, lots of support when you get underneath here. I'm a little guy, but you can imagine, great space, lots of support underneath those legs. What's quite nice is that drop down feature. So when you're sat here, you can really lie back and, and relax. Of course, integrated uh, name audio stereo system up here. From a practical point of view, you've got big wing lockers. So two large uh, openings either side, so you can drop your fenders in there, as well as having an extra to find those lost bits. Entrance there, to the cubby hole under there. Nice little coffee table there, so should you need to sit up here with, with drinks, you can do. And uh, an option is to have this as a fold up section. So you can sit here, lean back and have a conversation with your guests. Really quite a nice area. Um, trying to keep the starting cues going, so a nice angled bit of wood there, or teak, integrated with the paint, just give it that rich feel, as well as some stainless steel cup holders. As I said before, moving down, you've got deep, oval, uh, chunky stainless steel sections. And what you might be able to notice is these uh, little nodules here. We have four poles that you can go outboard here to create a nice shaded area. So they stock into the deck, clip onto the little knob here, four on either side to give a real nice or Bedouin style uh, uh, shade up on the fore deck. And then to the business end, two anchors on this boat. This client's gone for the stainless steel ones. Um, 110 kilos by the look at, oh, sorry, 50 kilos here, 80 kilos on the other side. Two winches, uh, and then obviously fairly cavernous lockers here. Similar to our other boats, you have your windlass control stored in one, as well as your capstan handle, and then access to your anchor chain uh, underneath the other. Line fair leads just to let the lines go out of the boat, stop it uh, rubbing on the GRP, or to the forward section, and of course, your pennant. And then, looking aft, you get a great view and great communication with your friends, captain or guests up on the flybridge. Yeah, well, welcome to the stateroom of the Y85, uh, currently the flagship of the Y range. Uh, it will be a uh, uh, superseded in a few years time by the Y95 but until that point this is the biggest uh, Y boat you can buy. Um, typical of, of all princesses is obviously our big brother windows in the stateroom. Um, lots of natural light coming in there which covers this area which is nice as a dressing table so you've got a vanity unit with mirror underneath lit from above as well so you're not relying on that natural light. Customer choice of chairs in here uh, so you can choose whatever style you like and as you come around again Trademark, you've got your AV in there, which will control your TV, your stereo system, and obviously a bit of storage there. Nice little features. This boat um, was one of the, the first ones that took on the new design cues that Sarah Vri worked on, our creative design director. Quite subtle, going away, away from lots of wood to more soft fabrics, but still keeping some nice lit wood as a feature. And then you move aft into full wardrobes. So full hanging height there. You've got an optional uh, uh, safe unit, and then Two double mirror doors, 
drawers underneath, storage above, and then a little cubby hole on the side there. Underneath the bed, as with all princesses, you have drawer storage. So you can get to that both sides. So unlike on some of the other boats where it's in front of the bed, these are come out of the sides. These lovely floating uh, side tables and obviously your controls. Now on the Y85, we have controls for the lights, which are all scene set. So you can have for evening uh, to leave on at night if you like a bit of low level lighting. And indeed, you've got your controls here for your blinds, electric blinds on either side. As you walk over, we've got a, um, a really nice area here which can be utilised as more storage or as they've done on this boat you can have a, a nice sofa area. Uh, underneath is, is two more storage areas. Again trying to eke out as much storage from these boats as we can to make them as livable uh, as possible. Coming through you have your ensuite. Historically we had the entrance through the walk-in wardrobe. Uh, now you have the door here which gives us the ability to have a separate cubicle for the toilet or WC. You've got twin sinks as normal, plenty of storage, and then outboard you have that amazing sh uh, rain shower, um, uh, shower unit with taking advantage of the views. Okay, big 55 inch TV, so you've got great view from when you're in bed, connected to the surround sound obviously. More controls to your air conditioning and your lighting, so this is all scene selection. These are repeated down next to the beds. And then we move out into the foyer where we have more storage as you want it. Um, but also this could be separate washer dryers. You get washer dryers in the crew cabin as well as standard, but you can have them here if you need to. Let's go and take a look in the guest accommodation forward. So the Y85 is a four cabin boat. So you've got your master en suite, and then you've got your, your three guest cabins. We're gonna take a look at the queen first. So we come in, and uh, first thing you notice is that big bar window there, letting that light in and, and giving your guests that view, opening portholes, plenty of storage that we've tried to utilize outboard as well as carrying on that design feature of the, the bars and the 20 degree in the, in the fabrics there. Nice bedside tables, storage underneath this bed. Um, should you want to have a TV, it would go just on this uh, bulkhead here, just above the vanity unit. And then forward you have your uh, en suite, heated towel rail should you want it, and then really nice feature, the outboard shower, so you can make a, take advantage of those views. Now opposite we have the twin. These uh, beds can slide together uh, as an option should you want to, to make a double, or you can keep them as twins. More we'll carry on of that design. Bar window, overhead lockers above there, storage under both beds, and that is accessible both sides, whether it's open or shut. Full height uh, wardrobes, uh, and then moving into the ensuite again. This time we've got the uh, shower on the out inboard side, head on the outboard. Before we get into the VIP, you've got a good storage under there. So trying to utilize again, that will also give you access to your bilges as well. And then up into always my favorite part of the boat, uh, but this is great space. Full height wardrobe. So your important guests don't feel uh, short chains on board here. Nice vanity unit. Those lovely knife windows that go forward on each side. Um, they give you that beautiful sea vista. Okay, storage everywhere, above your eye level, low level, big storage underneath for each of the uh, sides of the bed, and then obviously you're, you're en suite. So here we are on the flybridge of the Y85, uh, on the aft section of it, where you can really take appreciation of this uh, you know, balcony of the sea, really. You know, nice glass section, so if you do have you know, sun lounges up here, you can see straight out of the back of the boat. Lovely spot to be. Now you can put your tender up here, uh, and this client has actually uh, chosen to go for the optional davit, uh, or you can just have loose furniture. Forward of that, you come into uh, a nice sun lounger, which has storage underneath it for all those covers and bits and bobs, as well as drinks hold on the, on the far side. Underneath the hard top to give you some nice shade, I'll go around to the bar. Another real nice entertaining area. Integrated double grill underneath here as well as plenty of refrigeration. So you've got your, your fridge, ice maker, storage, obviously hot and cold water, and then a nice bar to, to stand here and entertain. Um, opposite here, you can have stools here should you want to, so it becomes a bit more of a party atmosphere. Uh, and then you have the, the table. Sl pull out the centre section so you can have it as a dining table or as a optional uh, coffee tables, and then move forward into forward section. You know, again, trying to integrate these lovely details, so plenty of teak inlays, drinks holders everywhere cutaways to try and make the furniture look a lot lighter 
um, and then down into a nice day bed, double helm station, another day bed on the other side, so your guests can be protected from the, the wind when they're underway. Good helm, three big screens up here, central one being in that bonding screen again, good command station, obviously fantastic visibility. And then on this boat, we have the hard top, which has the integrated uh, glass sections, which let lots of natural light in. You can also have that as a solid section, or indeed you can have it as louvers. So you can have it as shade or open, depending on how you want to use. But on a day like today, in Corsan Bay, it really is a wonderful place to be. Here we are in the engine room of the Princess Y85 and I'm on the centre line with the MAN V12 diesel engines, 1900 horsepower each, uh, each side of me. Um, they deliver a top speed on this vessel between 30 and 32 knots depending on the specification uh, and as you can see they really don't hinder the space here in the engine room. I've got ample space above me here um, and above the engines as well. Outboard of the engines you've got the two um, Holding tanks for, for diesel fuel with the day tank on the center line and the bilge behind me. Um, and the total fuel capacity on this boat is 11,000 liters. On the forward bulkhead, uh, on the center line here, you've got the automatic fire suppression system, which has its own manual override as well, um, with distribution panels for DC electricity on the starboard side and AC electricity on the port side. All easy to hand, sealed away behind those panels there. Um, underneath the bilge space here, again, we've got tread plates in all of the floors, so you've got plenty of easy access for servicing and maintenance, as you'd expect to see on any of the Princess range. And as we move aft, you'll see on the back of each engine, there is a fuel polishing system, which is another feature that uh, is, it really pushes the specification of the Y-Class. Um, outboard to starboard, we've got the house battery bank uh, up on the top of that frame there. Underneath is the exhaust muffler for the starboard engine. Uh, and then forward on the side of the fuel tank there, we have two DC battery chargers along with the inverter for the audio visual system. On the port side above the exhaust muffler, we've got an optional water maker. The water capacity on this boat is 1,500 litres, so plenty of fresh water capability for extended cruising on this vessel. Aft in the engine room here, you've got a, two generators on this boat. Uh, one, one generator comes with the Y85 as standard, and that's 27 kilowatt generator, uh, with an additional mounted above uh, as, as an option. And again, you can see here you've got your fuel, separate, fuel water separators, um, seawater strainers and seacocks, all easy to hand for daily checks and servicing. I'm now moving over towards the starboard side of the engine room, uh, through the watertight door into the crew area. So this is the door, as you can see, plenty of headroom to come through and seals closed with a viewing port in the top for easy inspection of the engine room when you're coming down here for your engine room checks underway. Now, one really nice upgrade when you move into the Y85 from its smaller models in the Y-Class range is the double access into the crew. So you've got a staircase down from the starboard side deck which functions great when any of the boat's berth, then you want to give the guests some privacy in the saloon, um, or you just want a safer access down here for engine room checks or crew access underway. And then as we move through the crew area, behind these doors here, you have a washing machine down below and separate dryer machine above. And on the starboard side here, we've got two berths in this cabin. And again, as you can see, I'm stood in here quite comfortably with plenty of space Behind me is a full hanging storage locker. You've got an opening port light with a large window around it for great natural light and ventilation in this cabin. Um, and the two berths offer plenty of room with great access to the top berth and individual reading lights for both berths. All the cabins down here are also air conditioned separately. You've got a good kitchenette down here as well with a 150 litre fridge underneath the counter here with seat securing lock on the front. And then again, a step up from the boat below this in the Y-Class range, you've got a wash basin and then microwave convection oven above with again more storage above and more storage to the port side and underneath as well. Over here on the port side is a shared bathroom for all of the crew members again with good headroom in the separate shower stall and again opening port light which is a really nice upgrade from the Y78. You can naturally ventilate this bathroom at, with ease. 
aft of the bathroom on the port side, I'm now in the other crew cabin, which comes with a single berth as standard and a second berth as an option. So you've got the ability to accommodate four crew very, very comfortably on the Y85. And again, as you can see, plenty of room in here, plenty of head height, um, equal space in the berths and ample storage underneath and in this hanging locker right behind me. You've also got two full standing height mirrors for the crew when they're getting ready for work in the, in the morning. And then to finalise here in the crew, you've got a really good sized dinette with a folding leaf table, which make it, makes it really easy to get in, but then gives you plenty of space to sit down and have a meal for two, possibly three if you were to have a, a loose stool down here as well. Behind me is also uh, a really good cubby for storage and that accommodates an AV system should you choose to specify one down here with the option for a 32 inch television on the bulkhead opposite me here. So great little space for the crew to, to enjoy at the, uh, the end of a hard day out on the water. And as you can see at the aft end of the crew, we've got four decent sized steps up to the transom door, which leads out to the bathing platform where the tender gets mounted on the Y85. So to summarize on the Y85, you've got a really good performing boat with plenty of volume, both for guests and for crew. Um, the crew being aft gives you that, uh, that level of privacy that the guests would, uh, would appreciate and um, also gives the crew a really good volume space to, to live in for extended periods out on the water, um, cruising further afield, which is uh, one of the key attributes to the, to the Y-Class range. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the Y85, a worthy flagship of the Y-Class for, for Princess. You know, from those four double cabins downstairs, all en suite, to that really beautiful saloon and that up-down section of, of the galley to make it into a bar or the concealed galley back to that expanse of uh, aft deck and of course the amazing swimming platform right up here to, to the flybridge. Now if you'd like any more information on this boat please get in contact with your, your local dealer and they'll be able to answer any questions you may have and talk about availability and when you can get yours.